Hello everyone and welcome back to Control. In the last session we hunted for some altered items and we got some of them. We got half, uh, but I could not for the life of me find the traffic light or the hand chair, which is unfortunate. We also uh, took down the anchor. And uh, I do want to just have a bit of a look-see up here because we had a brief look around. Oh, poop. Hang on. I need to get to higher ground to make it up there. We had a brief look around when we were searching for the dead letters, but, like, I didn't even know that you could get up here. I didn't realize that this was a thing. So, let's just have a quick search. What is that music? <laughs> let's have a quick search in case there's any uh, collectibles that we have missed, and then we will be heading straight in this part. To our brother. And, uh, Lord knows how that's going to go. Hey, see? White Kitchen. Dear gentlemen of the Society of Sciences, it has been some time since I sent my initial letter. I hope it is not the case that you have dismissed my claims outright. In that hope, I am writing you to once more ask for your help in understanding the oddity that has befallen me in my home. I have recently begun renting a new apartment in the city. The space is nothing special, though for a time I found the isolation quite soothing. Recently I have begun experiencing a strange occurrence. When I'm in my kitchen, a tiny little thing with not much but a sink, I sometimes lose myself. My surroundings change. I find myself standing on strange dark stone. I stare out at a colourless sky, as white as undisturbed snow, terrified of moving. Perhaps this is a brain issue? I think not, as it feels terribly real. This has been occurring for some months now, and I have become frightened of ent entering the kitchen. If it's not too much of an inconvenience, I would dearly appreciate a visit from one of your professionals to see what they make of it. I await your response with little expectation, but with great hope. Very truly yours, Lorraine Fitzgerald. Interesting. Uh, that's the one we should be tracking, isn't it? Langston's Runaways, although I think... We figured out, didn't we, that it's not, uh, my issue was that I was looking for it exactly where that yellow diamond is, but we discovered that, that yellow diamond is not, in fact, an indicator of where the item is. That's just a general room location, and then you have to search around for it within the room, which I completely didn't understand when I was first hunting for them. So that's, that means the traffic light I could probably get, but then again, I still... Those are some weird effects going on around those machines. It's only when I move. It's like the light is glowing off them. Huh. But that, uh, that, that only explains the traffic light. The other one I still don't know how to get to. Because it seemed like it was behind an impassable door. Pinstripe world. I'm a played suit in a 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 pinstripe world. I'm a play. Okay, I'm not going to read the whole thing. Also, banter that they blocked out one sentence of that. <laughs> Did you think I was going to read the whole thing? I guess that could have been funny. <laughs> Maybe. Probably not. That would have probably been obnoxious. Oh, guess who forgot to sort out his mods. Ugh. I was... Oh, I meant to do that when I finished off last time, and apparently I forgot. Good job, me. Professional YouTuber, by the way. Cat clock. My clock is shaped like a cat and its eyes move and I think it's angry but I keep apologising and it won't stop but I said I'm sorry, 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 sorry but it won't leave me alone and I don't know what it wants, I can't keep apologising. Do you see it now too? It told me everyone is here and I need to be careful so they don't see me writing this letter, it wants me to stay with it, my eyes are on it, I can't read, I can't read that that fast. I need to be careful so they don't see me writing this letter, it wants me to stay with it, with my eyes on its eyes and moving very fast but I can't keep going and I worry they will forget about me so I need to write this about this because I can't keep going but the cat will because of its eyes and then some redacted text Whew. speed reading with your host living son next floor okay this is where yeah that was where that was 
any further reading materiales. Wonder what's in there. <laughs> Stuff poking out the side. Hmm. Hello. Vivid dreams. To the esteemed members of the American Psychiatric Council, I'm writing to inquire about the significance of dreams in relation to one's mental health. I'm aware that there are many books purporting to contain the true meanings of dreams, but I have reservations about their legitimacy. I understand that this is not usually done, but I would greatly appreciate your thoughts on my condition. Ever since I was young, I have had intensely vivid dreams. They only occur sporadically, but in them I witness very strange events. I understand dreams can seem real at the time, but these feel markedly different. They do not occur often, perhaps only one or two a year. Last night I had one. I saw a small, empty town. It was utterly dark. There was a lake at its centre. Shadows of people moved around me, muttering odd things. A bright light woke me up. I was screaming in my sleep. My wife had been shaking me for minutes before I woke. Because of this recent incident, I've decided to seek help. The doctor says I'm physically fine, but I wanted to consult your expertise. Thank you for your valuable time. Yours very sincerely, Richard Bowker. People are having real bad days, aren't they? Sucks to be them. Hello. Health boost plus 30. Okay, we're going to have to um, pick that one up. That is the highest health boost I think I've seen. Uh, what should we be deleting? I mean, I guess really any of these level 1 and level 2 things can really go the way of the dodo, can't they? Like we're ever going to be using level 1 and 2 stuff, now we've got level 4 stuff. Or even level 3 stuff, really. Let's just delete all... I was uh, I was going to do this off screen, but let's just delete all the level 2 and 3 stuff now that we've got pretty regular 4s coming in. Not sure if that will come in handy. I've been doing all right. I mean, I've had a few issues, which, I mean, you know, I've had a few issues you've been watching. But uh, for the most part, I haven't had much in the way of issues with health. Uh, I mean, a little bit. A little bit here and there. But nothing too major. Uh, did I really check this side? I think I might have done. Okay, I think we're good. I think that's it. So... Let's, um, let's do the traveling of the fast, jumping up to Central Executive, and it is going to be time to meet our brother face to face. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> it's been a good few parts, because I got very distracted by the side quests, which was not my intention. It just, it just happened. I was just like, ah, yeah, we'll just head off to my brother. Ooh, but look at this. And this, and this, and then, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Wait. Brother isn't here. The resonance emitted from the HRAs is purely antithetical to every variant of the His signal I can arrange. But how did Darling create it? Unsure. Is this, this is new, right? Speech analysis. Summary. If we understand the Hiss to be a force based on vibration and resonance, then perhaps their incantation, which is now the agreed upon term for their vocalizations, is an effort to express that resonance using that resonance using human vocal cords and speech. Would there be differences if the incanta incantation were recited in a different language? The most common word used is want. Interestingly, every usage of the word is attributed to a you. You want to listen. You want this to be true. You want you must want these waves to drag you away. Are we the you the Hiss are referring to? Does the Hiss believe humanity, possibly all non-Hiss life, wants to join it? To be consumed by it? Is that its goal? The second most used words are through and time. Is this possibly the Hiss stating how they arrived here, or an indication of its age? There is clear intention in the words. Dismissing the incantation as nonsense as some of my colleagues recommended is beyond idiotic. Savage. 
You're beyond idiotic. Way. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, bro, Chacho is not. Wait. What was that? Oh. Hello. Timeline of events. To examine the invasion's timeline of events for possible patterns in his behavior. Establishing a timeline is difficult at present because of lack of reliable communications between bureau sectors and staff. Preliminary models indicate ground zero of the invasion is located within the executive sector. Once it becomes possible to interview surviving personnel, pinpointing the exact location should, should be feasible. Other outstanding questions that a timeline may help answer. How did the Hiss get past the internal lockdown? How does Hiss resonance advance through space, deliberately or uniformly? What is their ultimate goal? The outside world? A cross-dimensional destination? So many questions, but you know what? If anyone's going to get to the bottom of it, it'll be you, Emily. Along with me, of course. It's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. But am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hits, oh, right. but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. I forgot, yeah. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He submitted he to was a prime candidate. them. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. I mean, Polaris is protecting me, he so... more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother. Or is he? What do you mean, or is he? Yeah, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. I'm always careful. And if I'm not, that's alright too because, uh, got magic. Now, Jesse, when you were down in research, she's got more to say. Dr. Rhea Underhill. Uh, I didn't. no. Who is she? She was, is, a colleague of mine, a researcher studying a kind of extra-dimensional mold growing below research. Well, I don't like the sound of that. No one does. I mean, we've met sort of I haven't the mold from thing Maya before. Since the hiss arrived. Would you mind having a look around for her next time you're in research? Of course. Thanks, Jesse. Now, what's on your mind? Well, <laughs> old growth. That's a new mission, okay. Uh, black rock. I visited the quarry. What's the plan for all that black rock? The Bureau has used black rock almost exclusively for containment purposes. And I say, branch out. Instead of boxes, helmets. Instead of blast shields, knives. Knives? Yes, knives. So many combat applications. Slicing, stabbing, gouging. Or... Oh, good, yes. Love a gouge. Sorry. I've been trying to get Darling to explore combat applications for years. I got a little excited. Wow. Wonder why he's I against did not it then. I expect that from her. There must be a reason, surely. This place is looking good. Arish is making real progress around here. Right? This place is a fortress. And with him taking care of operations here, I can spend more time analyzing the hiss. I've been attempting to isolate and neutralize the hiss resonance in blood samples. But no luck so far. So you can't reverse it? Not yet. But perhaps reversing it is too simple. See, if his resonance can rewrite human genetics, then perhaps it's a question of rewriting the his resonance. In theory, that could pave the way for custom human genetic alteration. Oof. I wonder how often the phrase mad scientist is used around here. Custom human genetic alteration does not sound like something you really want to <laughs> make an option. How is HRA production coming along? Better than expected. We've already made enough to get people out of a couple safe rooms. They're here, alive, thanks to you. And we never would have lasted this long if you hadn't walked in those doors. Good thing I'm amazing. You deserve thanks too, of course. We got this place up and running together. But mainly me. Cool. I should be going. Enjoy your data. Oh, I will. Right. Speak with Dylan on the upper level. The face of the enemy. Did you hear that this prisoner they captured is the second? 
Is there gonna is there any new stuff? I don't know how often if things can like spawn in here, because obviously new things appear in the boardroom all the time. So is he in here? Is this why you're guarding this one? He sure is. Oh boy. Having a normal one. Any uh, collector bubbles around the back? Nicht. Nine, rather. Some. Shit. That's Dylan. Sure is. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, Dylan. I'm here. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The yeah, you. Me better. You seem better. Yep. <laughs> fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Can to you be stop true. that? Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. no. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in! You've always been here! The only truth! A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop it! Orangeville! Shit! Shit! He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. In ordinary. In the desert through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for applause, Build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will march out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I near worms of tune. You can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, baby, baby. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. 
generations. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Really? Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this light projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a run through time. But the you are a run through time. Find the prime candidate program. And that was clearance level six he gave us. Sweet. He's got more to say. I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Dylan. What a weird combo. Can we talk? I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Off to a good start. Okay. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in ordinary before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child. A girl. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. But then the Bureau came and caught me, brought me back here, locked me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. I've never heard a girl named you Dylan. Find that weird? I find that weird. Is Dylan a girl's name? I know Jesse can be a boy or girl's name. Sure. But I haven't the heard of that? Dylan being a girl's name. You are a worm through time. But the Anything else? You. Oh, they've still got the red triangle. <laughs> Maybe Dylan's still in there. Maybe there's a way to reach him. I'd like to talk to my brother, please. Dylan? Dylan would like to tell you about a dream he had just now. This again? I was going to be the new director of this place. Good thing you weren't. <laughs> I helped you get a job here so that we could be together. You were an office assistant. You'd make coffee and deliver the mail. And there was always plenty of work to do. And it stayed that way forever and ever. Doesn't sound so hot for me. It was nice. Really nice. I get to be the tea bitch. That's debatable. <laughs> Forever and ever? But here's the strange hmm. thing. The dream shifted. And none of it was real anymore. It was a game. We were in a game. And it was a fucking boring game. But you couldn't stop playing. And then it shifted again. Or, or maybe it was another dream already. Or, or maybe I'm just confusing them. But in this other dream, it was more like a musical. This is an ordinary song about an ordinary girl from an ordinary town. It's the ordinary story. She worked an ordinary job in an ordinary office in something, 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 something. And that's all I can remember of that dream. Maybe that's for the best. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Have we got another thing? We sure do. Why is there so many things that it keeps kicking me out for? <laughs> Just play them all one after the other game. I just had an interesting dream. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear it. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's fascinating, but let's talk about the hiss for a change. Fascinating. Huh? This dream was about the hiss. Uh, best I'm gonna get. In my dream, the hiss had broken free of this prison, 
This house. Sounds like a nightmare. I'd set it free. And the president himself was there to welcome us. He was the first one to take the hiss in. Spread the word. At first, many people thought it was horrifying. That he was horrifying. But also, many people who heard his words wanted to welcome the hiss in. And slowly, more and more of them came around until the whole world was brought together by the hiss. It was wonderful. Okay, thanks for sharing that. For the record, that will never happen. <laughs> Not as long as I'm alive. The thunderstorm distorts. And didn't we go again? Maybe I'm just here to punish myself. Any new dreams you'd like to share, Dylan? I'm glad you asked, sister. This dream, like all dreams now, felt very real. Like reality. And reality now feels like a dream. Maybe it's all a dream. Maybe it's all real. Dream where my brother endlessly tells me about his dreams. I was in a dark place. And there was a dark man there. His name was Mr. Door. And he told me that there are many worlds. Side by side, on top of each other. Some inside of others. In one world, there was a writer who wrote a story about a cop. In another world, the cop was real. Dor said he himself was in all of them at the same time, endlessly shifting between them. I asked him how I could reach these worlds. I wanted to bring the hiss there. But he didn't want to help me. He didn't like the idea. What did he know? I'm not wild about the idea myself. Containment hiss nodes. No, I'd rather talk about dreams some more. Here we go again. Once more with feeling. I can't believe how many of these there are. Let me guess. You want to tell me about your dream? Yes. Yes. In fact, I'm having a dream right now. Oh. That's new. In this dream... I'm standing in the corner watching Jesse and Dylan talk about this very dream. This very dream! He said just now! And repeated it again now! I'm standing there and watching and that's all I can do. It's as if I'm trapped there. He's having an out-of-body experience. And that's all I have to say about that dream. Okay, okay, Dylan. That's good. Okay. Is he still in there? Another one? Or is this the hiss playing mind games? <sighs> I don't know. <gasps> oh my god, are we done? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> we did it, Reddit. We had a million conversations with Bro Chacho. Are there going to have been any new documents? Let's just have a quick little run through. Ooh, hello. Oh, that's just a radio. Documentes. I'm going to guess not. Oh, <laughs> that is a window. Just when I thought things were stabilizing, Marshall abandons us. Oh, hello. Good thing I checked. Pope's promotion. 
Dr. Darling has personally recommended Mrs. Pope for a promotion based on her work ethic and assistance in advancing many ongoing research matters. See Research Reports X for breakthroughs resulting from her work. According to her colleagues, Pope displayed a keen eye for detail and quick grasp of paranatural concepts. She's professional and diligent, though some of her co-workers complain of social disinterest. <laughs> the review committee approves this recommendation and promotes Ms. Pope to the position of research specialist. She was junior researcher. Nice. Well in, lass. Well in. So, did I just never explore this room before? Or did I explore it and miss that? Or is that a new thing that spawned, is the question. I opened this. So I had to have come in here. And I couldn't have come in here without noticing that, surely, if it was there. So I guess they must respawn? Hmm. I don't like that, because that means I'd have to recheck like every single room I guess hmm well here's the lift right is this the lift oh wait no that's back to the the whatchamacallit the director's office oh hello did she have to write everything in her made up gibberish code I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Oh, yeah? Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My old ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, so, Guy, then. Hepton, Stall, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had a beers and wings plan. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HR. Then they are then super they dead. <laughs> protecting them from the hiss. You see, they prep for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck, and I really don't want this to get them. Could you find them for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. Then I won't let them stay his. As in, you'll put them down. <laughs> What's the deal with Blackrock? Oh, fuck. Don't get me started on Blackrock. <laughs> you know, ever since research found out that it blocks paranatural stuff, they have just been parading dangerous materials in and out of the fucking quarry. Sounds like there's some tension between departments. Still, at least the quarry's got a good view of the night sky. Yummy you know, and Salvador used to have after work beers down there. Fun. Salvador's super dead, by the way. What do you know about Dr. Darling? Uh, about as much as anybody, I guess. Head of research, loves to hear himself talk. All of those science types absolutely do. Uh, now he's been acting a little bit psycho recently. Although HR told me not to use that word, so. Everyone thinks finding Darling will lead us to the answers. But if he's completely lost it, then what help could he be? Rangers. Your security, right? Do you work with rangers? Not often. Rangers are specially trained in threshold reconnaissance and ground zero AWE response. Security is more interested in the dangers inside the bureau. They must see some weird stuff out there. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, every week they are tackling things that were previously unknown to the human experience. Most rangers, they retire due to cognitive collapse. I looked up the medical definition. Not fun. Yikes. <laughs> How, why do people choose to become a ranger then? How does the Bureau handle thresholds? Handle might be a bit of an optimistic way to put it. Um, Marshall sends a rangers in to map them, check growth rates, locate epicenters, take samples, measure stuff, basically. Sounds like he's done his homework. Now, down in maintenance, thresholds are used just like any other tool. The lab coats mine black rock from one, maintenance siphons water from another. We use it for pretty much everything, except drinking. Why don't you drink it? Do I even want to know? Uh, yeah, a lot of time we find these little chunks in it. It's uh, pretty gross. I didn't want to know. Yeah. And finally, Marshall. What do you think of Marshall? Marshall? Marshall's a fucking badass. Rangers could not ask for a better leader. She's a little, uh, you know, intense, but given the stuff she's seen, I'm not surprised. She does have a bad habit of disappearing, though. Where does she go? Uh, last time she vanished, I did some digging into the security logs. I found camera footage of her entering the quarry. She was down there alone for days. Oh, yeah? That's not allowed, but Marshall is 
kind of above the rules. I wonder what she finds so interesting in the quarry. Hmm. Curious, curious. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. <laughs> okay, so we've got options. We have got options. Let's have a look at the old missions. So we've got the main path, which is face of the enemy. He's told us to go to the prime candidate program in the containment center to containment sector to discover the ugly truth about the bureau. However, we could go and have a better look for these runaways. Uh, there's the old growth below central research, and now there's six hiss corrupted dudes. If we track this one, does it actually show like locations? Well, actually, they're gonna they're all in maintenance, so we won't see them on this map. Hmm. Energy converters, coolant pumps, Blackrock quarry, one of them's at, ventilation, Blackrock processing, and Atlas chamber. Ooh, that's quite a lot. I don't know, man. Which should we do? Which should we do? Shall we? Let's let's progress the main story a bit. I fancy I fancy going down the main path a little bit more before we branch off and doing some more side missions. Because we have done a ton of side stuff and very minimal main story progress. So, let's go to the containment sector.